double dragon. It's your boy, hey, man. Like it back with some new heat for y'all today. Like I never left. Heard what she said. Let's go. How y'all doing, man? Get it, man. Attack on Titan fans. Attack on Titan is coming up very soon. I know a lot of y'all is happy, man. You know what I'm saying? We decided to watch a couple recap videos of Attack on Titan to make sure we understand the story as much. We need, we need to give them the context. Let me give these people the context. We we pride ourselves on delivering quality videos. And while we think we know exactly what's going on, we still see a lot of comments about, you know, us not catching on to certain things or should be remembering certain names or events or little small details that happen in the story. And we care about y'all enough to where we gonna sit here and recap everything just so we can be refreshed. So when we coming into season four, part two, Y'all shouldn't have to feel that way no more. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of us going back and like doing yeah. some quality control. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Am I going to sit here and say, I think I know everything, everything about Attack on Titan? No. So I see comments, you know what I'm saying? But like you said, we want to make sure we understand what's going on so that we can increase viewing pleasure and also understand for ourselves, like making sure we know everything that's going on. Yeah, there's you know something there's something we don't have to do, but we just felt that we just trying to bring the peace. We're trying to bring the peace to the Attack on Titan uh community. Uh because we want y'all to enjoy it, you know? So yeah. Yeah, but we seen some videos on YouTube. Everything you need to know. Um for season four. I think this was called. No. For Attack on Titan, yeah, season four. And we're gonna watch another video um that shows more of the story. So you know, and if we know something, we're going to say we know it. If we don't, we're going to say we didn't know that. You know I wonder, should we just say, well, say that we didn't know that? Because then we'll, because then we'll be, because then we'll be saying, we know that already, we know that already. You know oh, yeah. I mean, however, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're going to say we didn't know. That will show y'all how much that we knew already, too. Yeah. Honestly. Because yeah. to me, I think out of the whole 100% of Attack on Titan, I think I know about a good... 85 to 90%, honestly. It's, just, it's some stuff that I can miss personally on my end. I'm bad with names, but I'm not bad with faces or or like appearances of what the character looks like. I'm gonna know the character, I just won't remember the name. I'm gonna know everything, the story about the character, what they went through. Like for instance, Sasha. I didn't I didn't remember Sasha's name, but I, but I knew about her when that little girl, um, that little instance where like she went back home and stuff like yeah. that. I remember all of it. I just don't remember her name. So, and I know a lot of people get on that for, for us not remember names, certain certain like small events that happen. So I feel like I know about 85% is just the names for me. And probably I might, I probably miss like some verbiage that they was probably talking about inside the castles and stuff. Like those to me was like the boring parts. So I definitely don't be focusing on those parts sometimes. Yeah, and I think part one of season four, you know, was a lot of, was that the one that was a lot of talking? It was just a lot of like talking to the end where they had like the caliper of uh, yeah. Titan and all of that yeah. stuff going on. So it was just like, for me, hard to grasp everything. And then yeah. I don't watch recap videos. So it's, it's what I've seen just from reacting and then just going off of that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So you understand like, like we are anime reactors. We react to a different anime throughout the year. And if we have coming from you, if you are like a Attack on Titan stan, this your number one anime, you're gonna be looking up theory videos, having figurines, having favorite side characters, debating, having um uh these like different podcasts about this. You're centered around Attack on Titan way more than we are. Whereas they have they have an anime that breaks up their seasons. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like we gotta oh, we got a season. Okay, we're going for six months. So now a character I saw six months ago, now I'm supposed to remember this. So y'all gotta kind of put yourself in our shoes also. You know what I'm saying? But we here to make the peace, you know what I'm saying? And just make sure we up to date on everything. So we coming into to the uh, second part of the uh, season four, we coming into it, you know, refreshed. Call it refresher. 
I'm ready to get into this, man. We're gonna watch these videos, man. Let us know if there's any other videos in the comments. We're yeah. Watch on our own time that'll help explain more too. Yeah. If this is not one of them. So the first video is gonna cover um, everything we need to know going up to season four, and then the next video is gonna cover uh, uh, the part four. the part part one of season four recap, which which should be pretty pretty uh yeah. Yeah. yeah, easy. But yeah, but yeah, ready to get into it, man. Let's run it up. Right. Nikki's a one to protect Aaron, and Armin wants to do something meaningful in the fight against the Titans, as well as see the world beyond the walls. Even though Aaron really hates the Titans, his world is totally turned upside down. You pause it. I know he 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 uh, he saved her from a traumatic event, but I didn't know that his family took her in and he that was his adopted, adopted sister. sister now i can see why he'd be like chill girl <laughs> oh, we, we related oh yeah okay now in season three both aaron and the scout regiment believe the truth about the titans and the outside world lie within the locked basement of gresha jaeger who is aaron's father now fortunately gresha basement scene. son a move to save armin from his fatal injuries he becomes the new colossal titan mm -hmm. now, for those and chose aaron as his successor with the new information and his father's memories, Aaron and company know the impending attack from the mainland for the founding Titan. Hey. That's right, guys. The series so far took place on an island this whole time. In the 57th episode hey. of the series entitled By the End of the War, the Eldian Empire fell and Marley controlled seven of the nine Titans, distributing them to those Eldians who were loyal to their movement and dubbed them warriors. Woo. Woo. So Marley, who we've seen, so Gabby, she's Eldian, right? Gabby, uh, cause the they have the uh the yellow banner around their arm if they were Eldians, right? Mm -hmm. And Marley was in control of them. They was like calling them scum and all of that. Mm -hmm. And Gabby was Eldian, right? Mm-hmm. So and Marley are the descendants of Ymir's? Like Ymir's um Uh it it, it said it said that I thought it said that the Eldians were were um were using the Titans power to kind of rule over then they got too powerful. I don't know where the Marleans came into play. I think they just came in and just, I mean, you could probably just replay it over. Yeah. Because they said they controlled time. seven of the nine things. Like, they yeah, like not Yeah. Like, they just, like, they came in and just took I'm over. I'm trying to see where Marleans came in at. ...were used by Eldia to conquer nations and... Eldia, yeah. Marley. Now, as the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Say it, say it. Yeah, yeah. Now, when Amir died, nine titans inherited special powers. As her descendants, the subjects of Amir or the Eldian people have the capability of becoming so titans. Eldian so Eldians is really yeah. the powerful yeah. people. Titan powers. Now, the nation of Marley took advantage of this soon after King Karl Fritz vowed to renounce war, abandoning his duty to balance the powers. By the end of the war, uh -huh. the Eldian Empire fell and Marley controlled seven of the nine titans. That's how okay. they took over. Yeah, okay. <laughs> The reason Aaron could use it briefly in season two was because he was in contact with a Titan from the Fritz bloodline during the battle. Mm. Now, of course, manga readers, y'all already know what to expect in the final season of Attack on Titan. But you know what? Let's hold off on spoilers and discuss in the comments below what we're looking forward to seeing in the final season. <clears throat> yeah, so much for that one. It was more so. I remember a couple names. Um and I got more I, I got more of a clear um a clear setup on the the uh the Marley the um, and Marley Eldians. Yeah. Got a, a more clear setup of how that came about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was a little That was uh, always foggy to me. That was foggy to me. So that that makes that makes more sense. So it's like the Ymir, then you had the descendants of the like the nine Titans and stuff, but mm -hmm. then they said um, the founding Titan like like um, left. That's what shifted like the balance of the power was the founding Titan like left, and then it like caused the Eldian people to like lose, and then that's when Marley took advantage and took mm -hmm. over at that point. And uh, yeah, so that whole thing was like like foggy, foggy. Yeah, I feel like so. it could have been 
I feel like it could have been a better video. This is kind of like super short. Yeah. So I think people are gonna be like, yeah, you should have watched a different video. So if y'all found a different, yeah, one, if y'all found one, just let us know so we can like, we just want, we just trying to understand the story. Yeah, that's just trying it. to help. That's all. But the Taco Titan is deep though. Like it, yeah. it seemed like it's it's I not feel like that this that this wasn't enough um, of yeah. a recap. The Taco Titan is deep with the story, bro. Like. Mm -hmm. Like shows that be this long, like a second time, don't be this deep in story. No. I think that's why this get a lot of praise and stuff too, because it's just it's just crazy, like the so amount of story they do. Complexities. Yeah. But it's the uh this is uh the final season explain what we're gonna watch. This, this longer than the damn uh the other one. Yeah. Watch this, see what this is talking about, man. The soldiers I'm referring to are Yelena and Onyankpon, who were both forced to join the Malian army after their home countries were invaded. As a result, they had no loyalty to the empire whatsoever, and a few years ago, Yelena that. founded a small resistance group known as the Anti-Malian Volunteers. I knew that they were kind of the resistance, but I didn't know that they were like, um, like, captured, technically like people that they got ruled over them. Yeah, yeah. By using her wireless radio, she would lure ships towards the shore, at which point they'd be ambushed by the colossal or attack titans. Each time this happened, nearly all Malian soldiers on board would be locked up in a prison, because the vast majority of them hated Eldians. Hold on, you pause it? Is, uh, is, is Zeke, oh, Zeke royal blood because of his mother or because of the beast titan? I think it's because of the beast titan. So it's because somebody royal had, had the beast titan before? I think, no, I think it's because it's one of the descendants of the Ymir founding thing. Because the Ymir made the nine founding titans or whatever. Yeah. Not founding titans, but I think if he come in contact with like one of those special titans, then that, that means that he gets a royal. I think it's about the royal blood thing because he could just. Really Zeke is just... not, he's not like uh well, you like blood like that, Ooh. is he? Zeke? I feel like it was just, I feel like it was his mother or something. Because if if you're saying like the nine found it, then that would mean Aaron is um of royal blood now too because he got the attack on You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then he just, and this is why I think it was his probably his mother because wasn't that his mother that was a titan, I think? Yeah. No. Yeah. The one where this, where he died, yeah, 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 yeah. Where so her, he, mom, so he had touched her, and that's how it activated. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had to true. be his mother. Because because um, Aaron dad banged both of them. Yeah. Step two of the plan was that his rule would spend the next fifty years modernizing Paradise, so that in the future they won't have to. I don't remember this. To survive. The final step is what Eren didn't like, because it meant that Historia and her royal blood would need to inherit the Beast Titan after Zeke's time is done. Only then would they consistently maintain having a Titan of royal blood. Damn. Mm. Also, back in season 3, when he realized how to activate the Founder, he didn't tell anyone because he wanted to avoid pretty much this exact situation yeah. where she might be turned into a royal blooded Titan. Dang. Eren rejected I know that. his plan, and hopefully this could be the beginning of a path to peace. I should remind you guys that at this point, look at the Arab, time, Beast Titan <laughs> in less than two years, if Eldians can't reproduce, then the power of the Titans will peacefully die out, creating a world where no more humans have to live in fear of the Titans, and no yeah, more Yeah, okay, I remember that. Yeah, I do. In that way, we did see that later in the timeline, he personally agrees to help Zeke with the euthanization plan. Anyway, Dang. moving on to the year 854, which was part of Zeke's plans to be reunited with his brother, but as it turns out, Eren wasn't too far away. In episode two of the True. final season, and he sent letters to the scouts making it clear that he was going to attack during the declaration regardless of whether they helped him or not. This was a genius move from Eren because it, point number one is that Eren wiped out all of Mali's top military officials which was done on purpose <laughs> He was going crazy to take them to get revenge on the island. That makes sense. That same army, so many of Mali's ships destroyed it would take them months to reorganize their military. Yeah. Point number three is that Gabby killed Sasha after sneaking aboard the airship the scouts were using. To that was crazy. Mm -hmm. with Falco, her pregnancy made it too risky for her to be titanized as nobody knew what Smart. would happen to the baby. And as a consequence, it meant Dang. that he had to be kept alive until after she gave birth. This wow. Is why they put him under Levi's supervision because if it wasn't for his story's pregnancy, Zeke would have already been eaten. I didn't know that. 
I remember being pregnant. I just didn't know like the the, the reasons. Yeah, like the ramifications of it. Yeah. Zachary was actively searching for candidates to replace Eren as the founding titan, which is precisely the reason why the rebels decided to get rid of him. That, that was crazy. Day after yeah. Zachary was convening, it was virtually impossible for him to try and escape, or at least it would have been if Zeke didn't already have a plan. Yeah. Three years ago, when the first survey ships arrived, that's when they used the alcohol, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meaning that one scream from Zeke would turn any Eldian who drank it into a pure titan. Unfortunately for the soul in watch room that Levi wouldn't be able to kill 30 of his own men. However, when it came down to it, <laughs> pretty quickly and soon started chasing after Zeke mm -hmm. himself. During their fight, Levi just day, killed however, it. Was, in a strange twist of fate, this turned out to be Sasha's family, aka the person who Gabby hit. I remember that. That's crazy, but bro. now nobody realized that connection. I remember that. Sasha, this is when one of my favorite moments in the entire This was happened. this was my favorite was moment too. Who had not long escaped from prison just casually walked into the room to have <laughs> but he claimed that Mixa only protects him due to her Ackerman programming while Armin is being controlled by the memories he inherited from Bertolt. From the language he was using, it was clear from the I forgot about that Bertolt being in his head because because they remember everybody's memories from the past owners. Hey. He wanted Gabby to help him find the undercover warriors, but before he could finish his proposal, Pete shows up out of nowhere and stabs a nearby guard. Another dude, man, he was on the ship. That in that moment, with Eren on the roof, the Jaw Titan burst out from underneath to try and eat the Founding Titan, and if he had succeeded, then Marley would have won right there and then. Mm. And on board these ships were Reiner, General McGav, and also Falco's older brother. He's about to go down. Find time to mention mm. in the video. <laughs> Yeah, man, this is pretty good. This is actually, I, I, I'm pretty uh, glad that I that I uh, watched the recap because it. Same. I really like the way, like the uh, first video was cool and all, um, but I feel like I learned so much from this video. This dude really can put it, put it, put it in like a, a great, like timeline, bro. Yeah. And then like, he yeah, explains the years. It. Yeah. When when they came, when they left, like it was just. Yeah, like it was it was such a more clear picture than when I watch it. Yeah. When I watch it, I'm like, okay, I'm watching it, but he's putting it in more like a this this why that happened. Yeah. This is this is this. So like this led to, to this. Movie. Like they couldn't yeah. eat Zeke right away because his story is pregnant. Like yeah. like like I, like the stories it tells the story good, but it's mm -hmm. hard to like put everything into perspective if yeah. you don't see things like multiple times. Like yeah, true. <laughs> oh, what's what's his um his name? What is person's name? Uh, his name? Uh, turtle, turtle, turtle quirk. quirk. Hey, shout out to Turtle Quirk. Dude, this is a good video. This helped yeah. me, um, help help both of us kind of like really understand what's going on more. And yeah. now I kind of like feel more like battle ready to go into this to like the second part because I'm yeah. knowing what's what's you know what I'm saying. Exactly. I, like, like I knew the I knew what's going on, but he put it into way more detail like this is the reason that happened this is the reason this happened this is the reason that happened yeah like yeah. like you said i feel more ready now like with the story especially mm -hmm. being a couple days away um yeah but hey that's okay are you a jaegerus so this this did this, this is the crazy part when i when i was first watching it i was assuming that the plan of them um like before they even talked about like the youth the euthanization i thought they had to like die first but then then i learned that it was just them being like euthanized to not be able to turn into turn into titan so i'm cool with the plan it's just, it's just the plan still involves them dying though the plan the plan involves only a few dying though right the whole ldn race that's there. what i was saying like ooh. Why are you saying that they euthanizing them, but they really just killing them? Right. And then why say waiting for them to die out then? Like waiting for them to like. Cause they said that them. uh um Zeke Zeke wants to continue to rumbling so that so that way the Eldians can live in peace and just die out. What do they mean by die out then? Yeah, like I thought they meant just extinct. Like they don't want. Like he wants Why like live in peace and die out? I don't understand that. If like you about to euthanize everybody, like like the, the euthanization part is confusing. Yeah, okay. But then but then but then they're saying all Eldians is gonna die. 
It's even more confusing. I thought the main the main plan for I thought it was victimization, them. just to like strip them of the ability to become Titans. I thought that's what the whole thing was. I thought that, that was a part of it, but the end goal was always stripping them of it and then killing them. Why kill because them kill if them. they strip? See what I'm saying? Because Eldians If like if like if like I get a vasectomy, why kill me? If I can't make babies no more, you see what I'm saying? I see that, but it's That's like saying a Saiyan make. can't be a Saiyan no more. Like he's still gonna be a Saiyan even if you like. But maybe if you strip him of being able to turn into a Super Saiyan, then they're no longer a threat. You see what I'm saying? What's the euthanization for then? I don't know. That's why I'm like. But so, I'm thinking. So, I'm thinking it's supposed to be wiped out. That's the plan. That's I think. what I first thought. That's why I thought like, oh damn, we're gonna have to wipe everybody out. I thought that was kind of messed up. Yeah, but then they keep talking about euthanization. So like, it's like, what, 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 like, which is it? That part confuses me. So, if, so if somebody can explain it in the comments if y'all understand where we coming from. That's perfectly fine. So if I, the plan is to wipe them all out, like for the what's Jaegers, the point of euthanization then? I'm yeah. saying like, are you a uh, Jaegers though? If that's the plan, <sighs> nah. If that's Aaron and Zeke's plan, is to wipe because, them all out. Because I feel like we not the problem. It's the Marlians. Now, granted. There was turmoil in between, you know what I'm saying, the Eldian Empire. That comes with everything, bro. Like, I, I honestly don't think you got to wipe people out because they got to... The is, if they didn't get their memories wiped, if I recall, weren't they, like, the ones who were, like, they were the, fighting. Power, the power position first? Yeah. So it's like... It's like, it's like, I I feel like, 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 if, 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 if the Marlins weren't on BS, we'd be good. It's crazy because when I was watching the show, I was a Jaegerist because I was this I'm an Aaron fan. Because he put on that coat. When no, he put on his coat, Aaron he was fan. like, <laughs> "No, it was you." Nah, I was. That <laughs> was you. He was like, "Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah." But that's why. But like learning the story more, you know what I'm saying? Not 100, percent you know what I'm saying? Obviously, but like it's like it makes you think. Like, dang. Yeah. Before they get more clarity, if it's about the euthanization and not killing them off. Okay, I rock with that. You know what it is? I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. They're going, may I might answer my own question. I think they're euthanizing everybody that's current, but you're still an Eldian. So if you have a baby, that baby will have to be euthanized, but the euthanization already happened. That's why they got to kill everybody. No, no, no. That's why they got to wait for them to die out. Like they're kind of killing the bloodline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm thinking they like mass genocide. Everybody gotta die. So that's probably what it is. So they're euthanizing everybody that's currently there. So we all can't have it. So they stopping it. Man. Everybody getting vasectomies to turn into to titans. But if we was to have sex with somebody, that baby could turn we, into a titan. That baby will be able to. So have that's it. why they. That's why he's saying you want to wait for them to die out. Because you're like, no, nah, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't procreate no sense. more. Yeah. That makes more sense. Okay. I hope that's what it is. Yeah. I hope that's what it is. Okay. Okay. I was just sitting here thinking, like, what the hell is the point of doing this then? That makes more sense. So if that's what it is, I'm a Jaegerist. But I feel like that's that's the side you're supposed to be. Like, like as a viewer, that's the side you're supposed to be. That's the good side to me. Like, unless there's something about it that we not we not picking up on that would but like, you know how both sides have like that one little con, so you gotta kind of pick, pick, pick which con you kind of going for. Yeah, I'm trying to see what the bad thing like about being a Jaeger. Side, but it's like you still wiping out an entire race. That's like genocide. So now I I forgot about that. Yeah, because me personally, I wouldn't wipe out my race because other people feel some type of way about it. So, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't be a Jaegerist. No, no. No, nah, because this this whole thing is really about people's insecurities. <laughs> because you can't turn into a titan, you want to kill my race. And it's so, a yeah, balance yeah, yeah, of power. Yeah. Like if people don't want to balance power, like get them out of here. You know get what I'm saying? Here. So that's I true. Can't yeah, the yeah, Yeagers, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But it, I love Eric Cole though. He cold. He is. He is. But hey, this dope dope videos, man. I'm glad we watched this to oh, learn yes, more. Facts. You know what I'm saying? If y'all got anything to comments to help us understand more as well, you make sure y'all let us know. Put it down in the comments. We read them, so yeah. Yeah, let us no know. No spoilers. Facts, but hey, hope y'all excited to watch new uh, freaking Attack on Titan a couple days. 
You know what I'm saying? Love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all check these videos out on our Patreon before you put them on YouTube. Thanks. Double dragon out. Peace. Deuces.